about the SN2 reaction and uh, uh, many important things related to the SN2 reaction, such as uh, the, uh, the rate, the rate of the SN2 reaction, the rate law from General Chemistry 2 re uh, related to the SN2 reaction. We're going to talk about the mechanism uh, of the SN2 reaction. And in everything off, we're going to talk about the potential energy diagram of the SN2 reaction and the specific reaction that we're going to relate the SN2 reaction to is this reaction. Because we've got to be specific, so we're going to use this reaction. This molecule right here. And we're going to use this molecule. Uh, well, we're going, to, we're going to name this molecule first. This molecule is iodoethane. Iodo because this I dot, I, you know, this I dot molecule. And uh, ethane because there's two carbons in this compound. Okay, so we're going to take this iodoethane and we're going to react it with this hydroxide molecule. It's a formal charge of negative one. And we're going to make one of its lone pairs a very special color of orange. Also, we're going to put these two together at 25 degrees Celsius. And we're going to talk about why that favors the SN2 reaction. And we're going to talk, we're going to uh, put all this, submerge both of the, these molecules in acetone. And we're going to talk about why we're going to use acetone. And uh, <laughs> once we mix these two together with acetone at 25 degrees Celsius, maybe for 20, 30, 40 minutes, who knows? Hopefully, we can get this molecule right here. Hopefully, this, this molecule uh, be produced. And uh, we're gonna, of course, we're gonna, you know, prove that <laughs> beyond reasonable doubt that this molecule could actually be produced from, you know, all these conditions. Hopefully, all these conditions favor a SN2 reaction. So well, let's talk about what SN2 means. SN2. Okay, so right off, S means substitution. N means nucleophilic. Nucleo, uh oh, spelled it wrong. Nucleophilic. And two means bimolecular. So, substitution, nucleophilic, bimolecular. Okay? So, substitution, the substitution part is going to be explained in the mechanism part when we talk about the mechanism of the SN2 reaction. The nucleophilic part is also going to be explained in the mechanism. And uh, the also the nucleophilic part is going to be, all, really, the substitution and the nucleophilic part both are going to be explained by the mechanism and the potential energy potential energy diagram that we're going to have to draw related to the SN2 reaction. And the potential energy diagram relates to potential energy. Shows you how uh, the potential energy of the SN2 reaction, how it looks. Gives you more of a, a graphical representation. Okay, potential energy diagram. Uh, diagram, okay. Uh, all right, so we have everything that we're going to talk about, about the SN2 reaction to learn how to be a great organic chemist and a great person. A doctor, pharmacist, dentist, who knows, or, or just a great person. So uh, what we're going to do is um, look at, first, let's look at the uh, rate. Let's look at the rate of the SN2 reaction. Oh, that, that's what this biomolecular part means. The biomolecular relates to the rate. And the rate, of course, hopefully many of you have seen the rate in general chemistry too. The rate laws. And uh, this, uh, the SN2 reaction is a second order reaction. It's a second order order reaction. That's what the bi part means. Bi means two. So we're going to see why it's second order. I think it would be easiest uh, right off. Well, okay, so the rate law, we're going to explain the rate law by the mechanism. So right off, <laughs> seems to me everything all points to the mechanism of the SN2 reaction. And truly, everything does point to the mechanism of the SN2 reaction. Every, most any organic chemistry reaction, really, all points to the mechanism. If you truly get a deep fundamental understanding of the mechanism, oh man, you get a really good understanding of the uh, problem. You don't have to memorize because memorizing is, is terrible for organic chemistry. Do the, understand the mechanism. Get a deep fundamental understanding. So use your imagination. 
Okay, so let's look at the mechanism of the SN1 reaction. So right off, we have to write what we're in uh, the first step of the mechanism. Because, because of course you know that um, uh, every mechanism starts, uh, every, every mechanism is divided into steps. So we're going to talk about the first step of the, this SN1 reaction, of our particular reaction on the previous page. So uh, right off, we're going to draw this molecule here this molecule with its hydrogen right there and of course we know this molecule has an orange lone pair and it has two black dots there has a negative one formal charge and also we know that uh, the molecule that is also involved in this reaction is going to be this molecule right here I'm going to draw it in a different orientation but don't be afraid now uh, because I'm going to go back to the previous page and I'm going to show you some things to make you not afraid of me drawing this in a different orientation. Okay, so I'm going to draw it like this now. There's a particular reason I'm going to draw it like this. There's a special reason. Okay, so uh, let's go back to the previous page for a sec. Now, on the previous page, let's, our, our iodoethane, let's name this one A, the one that the iodine is directly connected to that carbon, let's letter it A, and let's letter this one B. Because you know this is F, there's two carbons, let's name them A and B. So let's go back to this one, this is A, that's B. All right, so let's talk about the SN1, the SN2 mechani uh, mechanism, step number one of the SN2 mechanism. Here in the first mechanism, what do you have? You got two molecules involved in the first step of the SN2 mechanism. Molecule number one, we're going to call that one number one. Molecule number two, two molecules are involved in this step. Now, uh, let's talk about the SN2 mechanism. And we go, what we're going to do is I'm going to go through, go through the process of showing you this mechanism. Now, when I show you this mechanism, you got to pay close attention because uh, uh, I'm just going to go through it and I'm going to go back and highlight certain steps and talk about what each step is. So in the first step of the SN2 mechanism, uh, in any mechanism, or any, any mechanism in general, a nucleophile is always going to attack an electrophile. Now, uh, this is going to be our nucleophile. If you don't understand nucleophile electrophile theory, uh, I'm going to, you're going to go have to go to a previous video to understand that. Now, that's our nucleophile. The nucleophile is going to take, and the reason it's a nucleophile, very small, uh, brief uh, understanding of this to, to, for brief understanding of this this is a nucleophile because it uh, to be a nucleophile there are two good indicators that your nucleophile is a negative charge number one that's why this the uh, that's why the symbol has a negative charge right there and also lone pairs that's why uh, lone pairs really is a you that's one essential thing that you have to have to act as a nucleophile is lone pairs because how could you perform a nucleophilic attack without lone pairs it's impossible you need a lone pair to perform a nucleophilic attack. And that's actually what's about to happen here. The nucleophile is going to attack the electrophile. That's what happens in any organic chemistry reaction. If you understand this, you understand everything, and you don't have to memorize anything. The nucleophile attacks the electrophile. That's a very found, um, fundamental concept of organic chemistry, very fundamental concept. Nucleophile attacks electrophile. It's like magnets. The negative attacks, attracts, uh, is attracted to the positive, or it's just neutrality, it's stabilizing itself. The negative cancels out the positive to make you zero. Zero is neutral. Okay, so, all right, the nucleophile attacks the electrophile. And when, uh, the reason this is the electrophile, that carbon right there, is because iodide is more electronegative than carbon is, because it's a halogen. Now, the electronegativity goes this way in the molecule, since the, electronegativity, elect, since the electronegativity goes that way, this molecule is partially negative. That molecule, the A, is partially positive. Electrophiles have a positive charge in the symbol for it because electrophiles uh, have to have a, a positive charge, number one, or a par partial positive charge associated with it to be electrophile. For this negative charge, the negative charge of the the lone green, the lone orange pair of hydroxide to be attracted to it. That's why it has to be positive. The negative has to be attracted to the positive, to you know give the neutrality. Now, 
Uh, that's the first step. This step right here, your professor will call this step uh, uh, nucleophilic attack. So we call this step a nucleophilic attack. The nucleophilic attack, if you attack somebody, you smack them, you attack somebody, if you, that's, if, you, like, if you attack somebody like that, if you smack them, you gotta have a hand to smack somebody, right? How could you smack somebody if you had no hands? This is the same type of uh, thought that you need to have when you think about uh, the lone pair of the nuclear file, the orange lone pair. It's like a, the hand that's used to smack the electrophilic carbon. That's a nucleophilic attack. It uses that orange lone pair or hand to smack the electrophilic carbon. Now, once this happens, this happens. That right there happens. This bond here between carbon A and the, I, the uh, halogen is going to be broken and it's going to leave. And this step is called the loss of a leaving group. This is what your professor will call it, loss of a leaving group. And specifically, let me make these arrows more, uh, more understandable because it's kind of hard to see them. I'll use this blue here. There's the first arrow because your professors will really emphasize arrows in organic chemistry reactions. That's the first arrow. That's the second arrow. Okay, so now... This is the, in the first step, these are the two things that happen. Problem in the next video.